In this tutorial I will show you how to use my template in After Effects to quickly and easily add Genie effect to your project. There are two folders in the project. We are working with the folder Edit Comps. Uh, it contains two compositions, Mac OS, Pop-up Animation and Content Container. Mac OS Pop-up Animation is the main composition of the template. This composition contains an animation controller, an all object, and composition content container for the content we want to animate as a pop-up. Content container composition is already animated, but there are no keyframes. The animation is controlled with expressions and starts from the beginning of the composition. In the effect controls tab, you can adjust all the animation preferences of the animation controller. Transition 2 changes the side of the animation, top, right, bottom or left. Show pop-up duration controls how long the pop-up will be shown. Warp to size controls how much the pop-up will be squeezed. Animation speed control the speed of the transition. The animation controller can also be used to adjust the position of the transition. In the content container composition you can place anything you want to appear in the pop-up. Imagine, we have a project where we want to add the Genie animation. For example, I want to create two pop-ups. Uh, the first one will appear from this location and the second one from here. Let's import the Mac OS pop-up animation template. Then import a second copy for the second pop-up. I will rename the folders and the main compositions for easier navigation, to avoid confusion later. Add these two compositions to our main composition. I am changing the sequence of layers, but actually it doesn't matter. Let's hide the second animation for this moment. The first thing we need to do is to set the sizes of all four compositions to match the size of our main composition. Go to the main composition and check its dimensions. I'm pressing Ctrl K and we see that the resolution is 1920 by 1080. Now go to each of these compositions and set them to 1920 by 1080. You may notice that they are already set to these values, as it's the default setting. Next, go to the main composition, left-click on the composition name and choose New Comp Viewer. This viewer will be locked to display our main composition and we will use it to adjust the animation. Now go to the first pop-up animation composition and position the playhead to where the transition should look a certain way. For example, I want to animate the pop-up from this point. Select the animation controller and drag it while holding Shift. Now we can adjust the width of the transition. With the animation controller selected, open the effect controls tab, set warp to size to 2.5, set the duration to half a second. Now return to the main composition and check what we have. Great, the animation looks good. Next we need to adjust the content size. Open the first pop-up animation composition and then open the content container. Adjust the content as needed. 
Now you can check the result. Good. Let's repeat these steps for the second pop-up. Scroll to where the first pop-up animation ends and drag the second pop-up animation here. Don't forget to unhide it. I'll speed up the next steps since they will be repeated. Let's check the result. Excellent! By the way, if you want to reset the position of the animation controller, you can select it and press Ctrl Home. You can also create transitions from all four sides. Just select the side you want in the animation controller's preferences. You can change the transition side during the animation. Select left side. At the start, enable the timer icon and press U. Move the playhead to where the pop-up is static and select right side. You can also animate the position of the animation controller. Select the animation controller and press P. Hold Shift and move the controller vertically. Enable the timer icon. Move the playhead and reposition the controller. The second point should be set where the pop-up is still. Now select these two points, right-click and choose Toggle Hold Keyframe. Now you can check the result. Thanks for watching. Hope this tutorial helped you guys.